Hello everyone, I am your English teacher Shabana and today we are going to read poem Mr. Nobody. So before reading the poem, I want to tell you about something the poem. So class, this poem is about a mischievous boy who plays pranks and practical jokes at home and uh, he tear the uh, pages of the books sometimes and sometimes uh, he uh, scatter all the things in the room. So class, we will read the poem and we will know about the mischievous boy. So let's read. I know a funny little man as quiet as a mouse who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house there is no one ever sees his face and yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by mr nobody so class in this stanza the funny little man mentioned is a little boy perhaps 3 to 5 years old this is because a child within that age usually does not talk more, much rather than making things that require them to learn. However, they often create troubles to people around them. Like in this stanza, there are crack plates but people tend not to scold them because they are in the learning process. Though people know they do it. So class, in this stanza, I have taught you about the funny little man who is very naughty. And he enters in the room as quiet as a mouse. Ek mouse ke jase quietly wo enter kar jata hai. And who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house? Mr. Nobody. Whose name is Mr. Nobody. So Mr. Nobody enters in the room as quiet as a mouse. And there is no one ever sees his face. Nobody ever, nobody never seen his face. Yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by Mr. Nobody. In the home, in the house, each and every plate, each and every cup in the house was cracked by Mr. Nobody. So class, the Boy, Mr. Nobody is very mischievous, very naughty and he does all the things wrongly and he ends up doing everything wrong. So class, now we will read the next stanza of the poem. This he who always tears out books, who leaves the door ajar, he pulls the buttons from our shirts. And scatter spins afar. That squeaking door will always squeak. For heavens, don't you see? We leave the oaring to be done by Mr. Nobody. The same thing happened mentioned in this stanza. The child creates another trouble in the house. Some of the troubles are the books have been torn, the buttons have been pulled out from the shirts and the pins are scattered. However, seeing that the little boy needs to learn, they leave the squeaking door to be oiled by the boy for him to learn. So class, in this stanza, I have taught you about the boy who is mischievous and he always tears the pages of the books and leaves the door open. He pulls the button from the shirts and scatters pins far away and they squeaking uh, the squeaking doors will always squeak for heavens don't you see we leave the oiling to be done by mr nobody so class the squeaking door what is the meaning of squeaking door this is the sound of the door squeaking so when the door when the door makes the sound then we call it squeaking door that squeaking door will always squeak for he heavens don't you see we leave the oiling to be done by Mr. Nobody. So class, this is, uh, this is our second stanza. And now we will read the third stanza of the poem. He puts damp wood up upon the fire that kettles cannot boil. 
His are the feet that bring in mud and all the carpets soil. The papers always are misled who had them blast, but he, there is no one tosses them about, but Mr. Nobody. So class, within this age also, the child may be doing something that may annoy some other people. The examples are given in this stanza, such as Mr. Nobody puts damp words upon the fire which causes the kettle cannot be boiled, bringing the mud into the house and make the carpet soiled and papers are misplaced. People know that no one could do such things except for Mr. Nobody. So class, in this stanza, I have taught you about Mr. Nobody that he put the wet wood upon the fire. Because of that, the cattle cannot boil. Because the wood was wet, that's why cattle cannot boil. And he always bring the mud into the house and make the carpet soil. And papers are misplaced. And everyone knows about who is doing these things. So class, now we will read the last stanza of the poem. Stanza 4. The fingerprints upon the door by none of us are made. We never leave the blinds enclosed to let the curtains fade. The ink we never spill the boots. The lying around you see are not our boots. They all belong to Mr. Nobody. So class, however, though people like Mr. Nobody is quite troubling, they need to be directed and to be taught the meaning of life. Not to forget they become like that because they are in the process of learning. Therefore, we as adults or people that are older and already matured must show a good talent for them to follow the right role model. For example, in this stanza, Mr. Nobody does not know the meaning of privacy, which he lets the door, the curtains open, leaving the boots not in the right place and spilling the ink. In this stanza, the poet is trying to say the marks of the fingers upon the door we didn't make. We never leave the blinds and close to let the curtains fade. The poet is saying that we never leave the window open and we never leave the curtains open. The ink we never spilled and the boards we never scattered here and there in the room. The boots, uh, the boots are not ours in the room. These all the things done by Mr. Nobody. So class, as we know, children are generally naughty, playful and impish. And they learn swiftly to respect others as they grow up. Playing pranks and practical jokes are sometimes tolerated. As long as they are harmless and don't distress others. However, misconduct or improper behavior should be avoided at all costs. So class, the poem Mr. Nobody has been done. And now we will discuss in the Zoom class our classwork. Okay class, bye-bye. Have a nice day. Take care yourself.